Welcome to Otaku Saga. I'm Rizzo. I'm Zero. And I'm DK. On this episode of Anime Reaction, we watch the ninth episode of Bakuon. Please support the official release. We now return you to your regularly scheduled idiots. Ding! If you want to check out our reaction to the ninth episode of Bakuon, hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comment section because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga. And don't forget to like and share our videos. And thanks, thanks for watching! So on this episode of Bakuon, it was all about the uh, entrance, entrance exams and, uh, for the new juniors. And uh, I actually didn't realize that Yume was younger. Then huh? I always I thought that she was older. Yeah, I seriously thought that she was older. She looks older. It looks older and acts, acts older, older. But yeah, we've seen it before. Straight, it yeah, straight up uh, rip off of the Uwe. Yeah, the uh, oh, what's her last name? Uh, starts with an H. I can't remember. But yeah, straight up, straight up rip off of uh, Yui and Uwe from Gaon. But. Uh, but yeah, so it showed the uh, entrance exams and what they were trying to do to get new people into the club. <clears throat> so well messaging, just like Swagamoto. Vroom, vroom! Vroom, vroom! I can't get it out of my head! <laughs> it's their fault if I don't pass. Just like that damn song at the end. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the handlebar dance. Uh, yeah, so oh, during wow. the freshman orientation, they were told that they couldn't bring bring a bike on stage with them. Right. Reasonable. Reasonable. Uh, but they didn't know about it until like the day of, like a couple hours beforehand. Right. So instead, they decided to just grab handlebars and do a dance to a really ridiculous fucking song. I just got an awesome AMB idea. Well, actually, before I present that idea, very impressive they came up with the song and dance. I was about to say, it was very impressive that they actually got it down in one day. Very impressive, even though it was ridiculous. But also, AMB idea. I can run my bike with no handlebars. No I was trying bars. to avoid the handlebars song. <sighs> anyway, um, try it so hard. So so while their, their actual performance was uh, more or less original, there was a part during their performance where um, basically Frizzy told Hane to, to make a speech or whatever. <laughs> that speech was a straight up rip off of what happened in KO. That scene. Yeah, like that that whole scene, straight up rip off. Like, and not not even joking. Not even, not even like. Yeah, just not straight to hide like it. yeah, just straight up replace bikes with guitars, and that's ex the exact. The exact, uh, pretty much exactly the same. Which isn't a bad thing in and of itself, but yeah, not, not the first time you see a blatant uh, copy paste of KO in this anime, right? Yeah, actually, I think they were uh, they they were poking fun at KO because the the club that went up before them was the Kaonbu. Uh, the light music club, and uh, they performed a song called "What Was It?" Staple Potato, of course, <laughs> something stapler potato or something like that. Or, so, yeah, uh, yeah. there's yeah, a bit of wordplay to one of the Ko songs. Yeah, so uh, poking a little bit fun there. <laughs> I actually wonder, um, is it the same creator? I'm not sure. The art style doesn't really look similar at all, but mm. it's kind of hard to tell with Kaon because uh, the art style was just kind of basic uh, um, Kyoto animation at the time. Mm. So, yeah, maybe if there's a difference, maybe it's a studio, but well, I guess we'll explain it later. Yep. So I think the I think my the most hilarious other than the song the song was cringy and hysterical <laughs> but um our new character here realizing she's too short for bikes <laughs> i like when they when she keeps seeing the bikes driving by when her and yume are walking up to the up to the school and she keeps reciting the name of the bike and the seat height and that's it and that's it <laughs> 
<sighs> Nothing about the power to weight ratio, mm -hmm. nothing. No. Just the seat height. What the hell? <laughs> Short people. <laughs> also, the whole um, tying bricks to your feet. Ow. Very, very ow. Yeah. I guess it's better than trying to hang yourself to make yourself taller. But you're already pretty tall. Like, you could be a basketball player. <laughs> but yeah, so it looks like the next episode is more about uh, the juniors. So. And yeah. Rambo Senpai doesn't get to graduate. Rambo Senpai. Rambo? Yeah, Rambo Senpai. Rambo Senpai. Well, we all know, knew that she wasn't going to graduate. <laughs> Come on this, now. The stake is immortal. Yes. The stake Chan is immortal. She, yeah, she is um, secretly a vampire who uh, feeds off the youth around her. That would explain the principal's case. That about does it for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm Rizzo. I'm Zero. I'm BK. See, See you next, next time. time. Hang on! Tell us what you got. <laughs> <laughs>